photo with a powerful message of love posted by President Bush's aide Sully, George W. Bush's beloved service dog, keeping watch over the former president's casket. KB's Juan Rodriguez shows us how these service animals can leave a lifelong impact. I think about the bond. I think about that love between the dog and the, and the human. They say dogs are man's best friend. We know how close the humans are with the dogs and vice versa. And um, we know how painful it is to lose a dog. And I have seen dogs lose their humans and it's painful for them as well. For Sully, his carrier, former President George H.W. Bush was everything. I saw the picture of um, President Bush, he was voting and he had the service dog right next to him. I took her voting with me and she was right there next to me. Debbie Crocker knows firsthand the duty of a service dog. I think sometimes it keeps people alive. She is the executive director for the Dog Alliance, group that helps train service dogs for veterans. We will pick a dog based on what the veteran needs, um, a really calm dog if someone is suffering from post-traumatic stress and maybe a dog with a little more energy if the person is in a wheelchair and is going to be asked to do tasks all day like picking up things and opening doors. And these animals require months of training. We don't want them to go up to every stranger they meet. We don't want them to go into a grocery store and start sniffing the food on the counters. Um, if they're in a restaurant, we want them to be tucked under the table quiet so no one knows they're there. And it takes a lot of work and a lot of practice to get the dog to that level. Training that's with a purpose. That it's very helpful for the person in a lot of ways and it is that constant companion, but it's also a very highly trained dog that is there for a purpose and doing a job. These animals are born to live a life of service and show us the companionship we sometimes take for granted. Their presence just shows you don't have to say a single word to show somebody love. In Cedar Park, I'm Juan Rodriguez. Back to you.